Hailing from rural Washington, our next guest was a star athlete before a career-ending injury halted his professional aspirations, but that would reignite his passion for music. Today, releasing his debut single titled Wine Into Whiskey, please welcome to the studio Tucker Wetmore. Good to have you, man. I love it's that we're your here. first, by the way. Debut yes, song, debut TV, performance, of course, coming up in just a bit. Yes, this man, this went viral. You are so busy on social media. I guess really today, that's the name of the game. But oh, yeah. how excited were you to see this blow up? And did you know, man, this is this is something. We've got a hit here. Yeah, it kind of took us by surprise. I mean, they always, my team always, um, like, pushed me to post, post, post. And yeah. for the last, like, year and a half, we've just been riding every single day, you know, and just putting in, like, the a lot of behind the scenes hours and um, we kind of got to the point where we got so many songs so we're just like why don't you start teasing something and um, it kind of just resonated really well, really well right off the bat and just such a blessing. So it was like what over 16 million on TikTok, 65,000 uh, pre-saves on this thing so yeah. it, it is blown up. I want to say by the way I, I love the lyrics on this. She used to drink Sauvignon Blanc now she's out flirting with Jack. This guy's all to blame by the way. Turned her love into pain and wine into whiskey. That's you true. by the way can we make a point? Not the bad guy. <laughs> Not the bad this, guy. Let's no. talk about where this came from because you have four sisters. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so, I mean, I, it wasn't originally my idea, but... Ebok, Justin Ebok, one of the guys that I wrote it with. For he, people who may not know, by the way, Justin Ebok, just Google. This guy has written monster hits. We're talking Jason Aldean, John Party, yeah. Keith Urban, and now with you. 100%. And uh, it's such a blessing to be in a room with him. He's, he's one of my good buddies now. But um, he, he came up with that idea, and I kind of, we were sitting there throwing, you know, how we should go about the, the title. Mm. And it, that was my first thought is like, well, I got four sisters. We could probably, you know, put a little twist on like I turned a, I turned a love into pain and wine and whiskey and then both the guys that I was writing with um, they looked at me and they're like hey that's that's the hook right there and wow. so like we just wrote it about I don't know my sisters I guess you know? <laughs> <laughs> your sisters when you put it literally they're like thanks I'm glad we can be your muse for all the jerk songs <laughs> that mean, you're going to be writing <laughs> I mean they're probably happy that I'm putting a light to it you know <laughs> absolutely yeah. I love it well let's get a little background on you like I mentioned in the opening Washington State but man you were really a sports guy I mean you played everything from what I understand but football mm -hmm. college football in Montana yes ma'am I yeah. mean and what, what happened there I mean you had dreams of NFL right I mean that was the goal yeah I like as as any kid grows up playing sports, they want to you know make it big, and it was looking it was looking really good when I was in Montana. I ended up getting like scout player of the year because I registered my first year, and um, my coaches were like, "Hey, you're going to be the the main guy, number one receiver for the next four years." And I was wow. like, "All right, let's ride." And then I went to a spring ball practice one day, and I kind of I'd kind of felt off for a little bit, you know, and um, like feeling like I wasn't really in the right place. So like the night before um, my incident happened, I. You know, I kind of asked God. I was like, "Hey, I, I just need a sign." You know, I don't feel I don't feel right mm. at all with where I'm at. And oh, uh, wow. literally the next day, I went to practice. The first play, I broke my leg. So that was. <sighs> I remember my first thought was like, "Ow, this hurts." And then my second thought was like, "That's my, that's my sign right there." That's it. Wow. Yeah. And and that's interesting. And I love that. I had goosebumps. I, I have goosebumps hearing that story. Yeah. For people who may not know, your grandfather was a pastor. Faith has really played a big role in everything that you do, which I love. But because of that. I really feel like you are where you're supposed to be. Thank God 100%. for that, man. Thank God. Your Amen. mom really kind of reignited uh, and kind of set that passion, I guess, for music again yep. after that accident. You picked up the guitar, piano playing again, so yep. and here you are. So it worked out. Making the move, making that leap, though, to Nashville, yes, that had to be a big jump, but you landed a publishing deal. I did. Mm. I did. I landed up my, uh, my publishing deal. Thank God for my team. They're, mm. they're awesome. Um, about a year and a half in, which is pretty fast, you know, for, for the normal, but I mean... Absolutely. It was, it was just, it's crazy. You there's know, everything's a reason, so yeah, crazy right yeah. now. And, there, and there's a reason so cool. for that. For people who may not know, yeah. getting a publishing deal, right? As a songwriter now, that is it. That is your yeah. job is to write songs. Oh, and boy, sure. you've got them. I said, I went back. I mean, this guy's covering Adele, which I love. Yeah. But hearing some of your originals, man, you look like I'm going to wind up missing you. Whew. I mean, these are great lyrics. So I'm excited. I know he's shopping a deal. We have him before he's about to blow up. <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad we're first. Remember us, will you? Oh, of course I will. I can't forget Tucker this. Wetmore in the studio. He's going to perform his debut song, making its debut TV appearance, Wine Into Whiskey. You want to stay with us 